you can come back from this and get this time back. You were just a little bit behind there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We will see. I don't know. I don't know. Right over here in the mix zone, we heard from Egan Bernal. He descended around 12 kilometers off of the Puy Marie. And he said, I don't know if he's going to be able to claw back that 37 seconds or so he lost on Primoz Rodlich and, uh, and on Pogachar this afternoon here and France, and it was a good stage. We saw those guys finally hit out, and a lot of question marks over the defending champion, the Colombian, Egan Bernal, who just says he doesn't know if he's gonna be able to do it. And I asked, what do you mean if you don't know? And he said, it's like, I just don't know if, you know, if my legs will respond and I'll come back around, Alex and Michael. Some questions being asked about the defending champion right now, the Slovenians though, man, Tade Pogacar and Primoz Roglic, they are looking very strong. We saw at the front of the race though, EF Education First and Bora Hansgrohe getting together, and at first it was Max Schockman and Nielsen Paulus, and they were joking around. There's a really cool shot of them smiling, having a good time. I understand that you got the scoop on that. It was a Sacramento connection. Is that right, Gregor? Well, yeah, and I was asking uh, Shaq, uh, as we call him here, you know, uh, he's a big fan of flow bikes. He's got a lot of friends in the U.S. from his time riding and training in the U.S., and I said, you know, when you when you caught Nielsen and you, uh, when you, when you, when you bridged up to him, did you think about winning the stage or were you just trying to set things up for Kamna? What was going on? And he said, he pulled up next to him and said, come on, uh, let's do this for Sacramento. Actually, it was Paulus who explained that that's what Max said. And uh, Max explained, you know, they used to train together out there and he knows uh, Nielsen from those days there. And so uh, if it wasn't Paulus who pulled off, I was pulling for Shackman and, um, of course, Kamna launched those few attacks, and uh, it was Danny Martinez. And, and an interesting quote there from Nielsen, uh, he, just, he, lo he was heading towards the EF education bus, and you can see it for miles, it's pink. Uh, and he locked up his brakes, made a U-turn, came back over to Flow Bikes, and was happy to explain about his day, and gave us just this long explanation. But basically summed up, it was, you know, he was over the moon for Danny. He tried a couple times, he fell, but today, you working with Hugh Carthy, uh, himself, they pulled it off for Danny Martinez. Yeah, a great day for EF for sure. You know, and and too bad for Bora Hansgrohe. You know, to, two guys in the top three, but not first. We've got a couple more days before the rest day, Gregor. What's the feeling in the group? Um, you know, with with tomorrow's stage maybe not being quite as hard as as Sunday stage. What what are guys getting tired? What's what's your sense? Well, and I asked uh, Sepp Kuss about that. Let's not forget this is his first Tour de France. And this was probably what many are saying, the hardest climbing day, uh, maybe the second hardest on tap. And I said, you know, Sepp, how are you feeling here? Let's not forget you're in your first Tour de France and uh, you just completed uh, a mammoth mountain day. And uh, he's coming back around well. He explained uh, he was right there, front row seat with the Pogachar road lich attack. So uh, definitely Sepp is managing things quite well uh, as you can a week and a half into a grand tour and they're gonna need it because as you guys talked about, um, as we talked about here in the show uh, prep is that tomorrow, it, you know, they're talking about a sprint stage, but it's a lumpy stage. And I know Van Avermaet said to me the other day, I, he said he circled uh, what was yesterday's stage and tomorrow's stage in his road book. And so if I'm gonna have to pick one, it's golden Greg, his legs are golden as the glasses that he wears and the rings around his orange CCC jersey. Uh, but definitely Sepp looking good in this uh, coming into this week and a half. Looking good for Pogachar and Rolich. Egan Bernal, though, guys, a lot of questions around him. A lot of questions. We we're just going to have to wait and see about that. Gregor, thank you, as always, for the reporting. We will check in with you again tomorrow after tomorrow's stage. Thanks, guys.